Hello ladies and this vlog is for you and um, I've been recently reading, well I just kind of started reading, I was reading but then I stopped because I got busy with school and such and I started reading a dating book, yes a dating book, I started reading a dating book and um, you guys are probably skeptical saying, ew why is she reading a dating book, that's kind of desperate, you don't need a book to tell you um, how to get a guy, just let it come naturally or whatever your takes on dating books are. But, um, this is actually a book that my mom was reading that a friend recommended for her. And I was young at the time. Now that I'm 19, I've actually, um, started to look at the book and find some interesting things. I mean, there's things in here for everyone. I mean, all the really you can possibly think of or imagine, they're in this book. And the book is called All the Rules, Time-Tested Secrets to Getting Mr. Right. Capturing the Heart of Mr. Right. And, um, I think, like, you don't even necessarily have to read the book. You, like, pick some rules that apply to you. And, I mean, this book is very insightful. And I think I think every woman should, like, have this in her purse. And, like, they see a guy just, like, open up the book and, like, look for that, look for a rule, you know, like, when it comes to dating. But, um, anyway, I'm just going to, like, start reading this book. And I'm just kind of, like, vlog about it and, like, as for you guys, it's feedback and everything when it comes to dating and relationships and certain topics that I find interesting in this book. But for today, I'm going to discuss um, an important topic for me. And since I'm in college and um, I'm in that, you know, process of dating and exploring what I'm looking for in terms of marriage or in terms of relationships when it comes to dating in college. And this book has, um, let's see, let's see, this is Rule 29, Take Care of Yourself and Other Rules for Dating in College. And, um, this is in, I guess, Rule 29 in the book. And there's, like, like, tons of stuff here, like, here's, like, she gives you, like, they give you, like, let's see, seven rules now if you know you do this here like seriously it's like don't look up his class schedule and follow him around like a stalker um it's great exercise um but if he doesn't notice you he doesn't notice you. if he notices you fine but like don't follow don't waste your time following him if he's not putting that much effort in why should you um, don't hang in the dining hall waiting for him at 4.30, then coming back again waiting for him again. Like, it's not worth the time. And, um, let's see. There's, like, simple things, like, don't try to get into things that he likes just so he'll notice you. Or don't walk and go around, um, like, listen to his favorite music or wearing a shirt that he likes it's just so he can say hey to you in the hallway and say an awesome shirt or whatever. Don't do those things. And, um... And most importantly, in college, I don't really have a problem with this, but, you know, for some of you girls that do, this is, like, one of the most important rules, and I'm so glad that she mentioned this on more serious now. She says, don't be stupid about safety. Day rape has become quite rampant in college these days. Be wary. Study in a lounge or library rather than alone with him in his dorm room or off-campus apartment. Always tell someone your whereabouts so they can keep track of you. Rules, girls. Don't take chances. Don't date rape lightly. Don't take date rape lightly. Um, so, like, it's so important when you're dating guys in college. Like, you know, not all guys are nice. Not all guys care about your well-being. And it's so important to take care of yourself and to look out for yourself. And I expect, you know, people around you to look out. You have to be... You have to look out for yourself, and just because you think this guy is nice, just because you've known him for a couple weeks, does not mean you know everything about him. So, ladies, please be careful when it comes to dating in college, and you know, exploring, and you know, going on dates or going over to his apartment alone. You know, be careful and take extra precautions. Um, now back to a more fun note. Um, Here's like some basic things to do to attract a man. <laughs> it says study. Men find smart women sexy, like, you know, 
a girl who's studious, likes to make good grades. So that's ultimately attractive. I don't care what you say. A nerdy guy who's cute is sexy to me. And I want to be smart. I don't want to seem dumb. And, like, I like to study. I like to keep good grades. And so I find, like, being smart as attractive. Eat sensibly. Exercise. Keep yourself looking tight and right. Don't be all jiggly and, you know, expecting the guy to find you attractive. You know, because on that attraction basis, that's what they look for. They want a girl who likes to take care of themselves and likes to keep up. And she also says wear makeup. Um, read the fashion magazine, read what's in style, and um, get involved in extracurricular activities, maybe um, some activities that are going on, get involved in whatever's going on in your school to put yourself out there, to be able to meet people and to get involved in everything, and pick a major and career goal, and just, you know, know what you want, and in the process of doing that, you'll find a person who um, has the same goals or going in the same direction that you are. So basically in college, it's brains and beauty basically. You know, don't be so consumed by a guy that you forget about your studies and don't be so consumed in your studies that, you know, you forget about, you know, having relationships and having a social life and, you know, building those relationships with people. Um, and, you know, if there's some of these rules that you guys don't agree on, let's discuss it. Like, put it in the comments below and, you know, just let give me your feedback on what you guys feel about certain rules that I read off here. And I just want to know everything that you guys feel about this, about this dating in college, you know. And there's even rules for girls who are in high school as well. I mean, this book is has so much. So I really recommend that you guys get it. It even has rules for girls in high school who are dating. Um, but, like, when it comes to me, um, I feel that you should look good and you should um, put your put on appearance. But, you know, some of those things are on a superficial level. Like, you shouldn't always have to get up and put makeup on and get so consumed in your looks and everything else that you start to become insecure. I think that you should be happy with who you are and, you know, hope that a guy can appreciate you and accept you for all that you are. You know, even when you don't have makeup on that day, or even when you're not wearing the cutest clothes, or, you know, you gain five pounds. So, I think this is, you know, these rules are for when you're putting yourself out there to date, guys. But once you're in that relationship with a person, you know, they should be able to accept you for every aspect of who you are. But anyway, I'm going to be reading a little bit more of this book and finding more interesting topics to talk to you guys about. But specifically, um... This is for girls who are dating in college, me too, and I'm just going to try to follow as much of these rules as I can and see how far I get with these. So if you have any um, concerns or questions or anything like that, just hit me up in the comments and let's talk about it. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys later and I just hope that you follow as many of these rules as you can and see how far you get with them. Talk to you guys later. Bye.